On behalf of the entire Algoma University family, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome faculty, staff, friends and family, and of course our amazing students to the 28th Annual Student Awards celebration. Through this ceremony, we acknowledge the outstanding accomplishments, dedication and hard work of a group of outstanding Thunderbirds, the students at Algoma who have excelled in their studies, in their research and in their classes. Academic excellence is about shaping your own future, about preparing to take on that next set of goals. It allows one to dream of being anything because through excellence combined with commitment and hard work comes opportunity. At Algoma, we pride ourselves in preparing graduates who will be future change makers, who will challenge the status quo, who will think critically and contribute meaningfully, making a difference. I'm so happy to be here today to celebrate with all of you, as I know this year in particular, you have balanced your lives during a global pandemic, and this is no small feat. Many of you have had to overcome significant challenge to be here today, and we recognize resilience, perseverance, as well as inner strength are also qualities we want to recognize. As we know, this cannot be achieved alone. So take some time to reflect on all of the helpers you've had along the way, the support that's been provided to you by staff, faculty, your parents, friends, and fellow students. Take time to appreciate and show gratitude for the generous contributions of the many donors who make these scholarships and bursaries possible. Congratulations, Thunderbirds, and thank you, Chi Miigwech, for celebrating your achievements with us today. Please enjoy today's video and congratulations once again. Annie, bonjour, hola, hi everyone. I have to start off by saying that this is one of my favorite events of the year. Being able to take time to recognize and celebrate our students is so important and it's my privilege to join you all today. These awards are the result of hours of studying, pages of notes, many sleepless nights, too much coffee and I'm sure a few tears. These awards are about you, about getting to celebrate your success and what may have seemed like endless hours of hard work. Enjoy this moment, your moment, and congratulate yourselves and your peers on a job very well done. You all deserve it. Congratulations, Thunderbirds. The entire Algoma University family is so proud of your academic achievements, and I'm really excited to be part of the celebration today. Enhorabuena. Hello, and congratulations, Thunderbirds. It is wonderful to be here today to share in your accomplishments and celebrate your academic achievements. You have all faced constant changes and had curveballs thrown your way, but despite the ever-changing landscape you found yourselves in, you adapted and rose to the challenge. I am so proud of you all for working so hard to achieve your goals and to not let anything stand in the way of your success. Well done to each and every one of you. I know I speak for all of our faculty when I sincerely thank you and congratulate you for your well-deserved awards that you're receiving today. I cannot wait to see you all in person soon. And thank you very much for everything that you do for Algoma University. Hello, bonjour and congratulations to all of our students who are receiving awards today. As University Registrar, this event holds a special meaning in my heart and it's an honor to get to share it with all of you. As part of today's celebrations, I have the distinct privilege to congratulate you on behalf of a truly exceptional family, the Camerons in particular the late Dr. J. McBain Cameron. In honor of Dr. Cameron's memory, his son Peter and his family established a scholarship fund to support Algoma University students. The Dr. J. McBain Cameron Memorial Fund was established to commemorate the life of Dr. Cameron, and in particular his role as one of the founders of what has now become Algoma University. Dr. Cameron devoted many volunteer hours of service to his community, his vision, had always been to see a post-secondary institution in Sault Ste. Marie so that young students would not have to travel to attend university. He devoted countless, countless hours of sitting on boards, supporting local students, and advocating for local educational opportunities. Dr. Cameron was a charter member of the Algoma College Association at the time of its organization and inception, and continued to maintain an active interest in the affairs and direction of the college for many years. He was also chosen as the first chairman of the newly created Board of Governors of Algoma University College and proudly served on the Board of Education of the City of Sault Ste. Marie. Dr. Cameron was often invited to give commencement address at the annual graduation ceremonies at Sioux and District High Schools, sharing his passion and insights with future generations. 
We are extremely grateful to Dr. Cameron for his steadfast dedication to education and for his countless contributions to the futures of our students today. Thank you, Dr. Cameron, for everything you have done, and it is my honor and privilege to present this award on behalf of you and your family. So my name is Tim. I'm the recipient of the Algoma University Award of Excellence, and I'm in the BBA program, as well as uh, obtaining a second degree in the Bachelor of Arts program. Receiving this scholarship has helped me to put my focus on schoolwork instead of having to put my focus on jobs, paying off debt, and making money. It has enabled me to put my focus on connecting with students, connecting with professors, and studying for a test, rather than having to put my focus on things like work, jobs, um, or going outside to, to pay off my debt. I would like to thank the donor for enabling me to receive this amazing scholarship. Hi, my name is Isabella DiBerardino. I'm from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, and I am the recipient of the 2020 John Rhodes Scholarship. I'm currently in my second year at Algoma University in the Bachelor of Science Psychology program with a minor in biology. I'd like to express my gratitude and give my heartfelt thanks to all of the generous donors of uh, this award this year and the donors from years prior. I'm very appreciative that they are able to support undergraduate students as this award definitely helps with academic expenses. This award definitely means a lot to me as it recognizes all of the positive contributions I had in my community and secondary school over those four years. Thank you once again and I uh, intend to continue having a positive impact on both my community and school in both my undergraduate years and beyond. Hi, my name is Avery Marsh. I'm in my second year here at Algoma U for Environmental Science. Uh, I'd just like to give you guys a huge thank you for the award. It means a lot to have some extra help put towards my education, and I really can't thank you guys enough for it. Uh, after my studies, I really hope to get into wildlife conservancy or even research. Um, and an even bigger goal of mine is to hopefully get my pilot's license and fly a water bomber to help fight some forest fires. So thank you so much for helping me go in that direction. Hi, my name is Sarah Dablich, and I'm in my second year of the Anishinaabe Bay Studies and Anishinaabe Ben Wynn program. I received the Dr. John McBain Cameron Memorial Award and the Aboriginal Veterans Award. Receiving these awards um, definitely helped me financially as a student who's in school full time and only able to work part time. But I think it goes beyond more than helping me financially, as you know, it helps. Um, with my confidence in you, it's, it's such an honor to receive these awards and be selected. I want to say thank you to the donors for supporting these scholarships. Hi, my name is Isabella Ingraselli. I am a fourth year law and justice student at Algoma University, and I also took a minor in English. I'm recording this message to express my gratitude to the donors who made my education here possible because without your generosity, I certainly wouldn't have been able to afford it. So thank you to those of you who have made this journey possible. And I'm so excited to be graduating with honors. Hi, my name is Maria DeMello. I'm a third year computer science student here at Algoma University. I'd like to thank you for your generosity in funding the scholarship that I received. Your contribution helps me reduce my out-of-pocket expenses, which allows me to focus on my studies. Students are very lucky to have people like you who values the importance of education. Thank you again. My name is Sasha Gerbich, and I am in my fourth and final year of the BBA program here at Algoma, specializing in human resources management. It is an honor to receive such generous awards from the Hollingsworth family, the Cameron family, Algoma Steel, and Great Westlife. After graduating, I hope I can give back to the community through my career. I have a special interest in helping people in the healthcare field. I hope to find a career that would allow me to make a positive difference in our community. Thank you for all making this happen. My name is Alicia Bruni and I'm a first year student studying biology with a specialization in health science here at Algoma University. I am so grateful to have received the Gabriel Barbin bursary and would like to thank the donors for all of their generosity. I'm very honored to not only have received this award, but also be a part of such an amazing school community filled with so many opportunities. After graduation, I am hoping to attend med school to pursue a career in neuroscience. And thanks to this generous award, I am one step closer to that goal. Lastly, a big thank you again for all your generosity and recognition. It is truly appreciated. 
Hi, my name is Rainbow Sunaway and I am a fourth year political science student. I have received the Algoma University Award of Excellence and the Anishinaabe People's Council Bursary. I wanted to say thank you to all of our generous donors who support the students of Algoma University. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to receive financial support because it relieves that extra stress and allows me to focus more on my studies and involvement in student associations on campus. I plan to continue with a master's degree in public policy and administration and eventually to work for the government. Hello, my name is Alexa Note and I want to take this opportunity to say that I am sincerely honored to have been selected as the recipient of the Hollingsworth Family Bursary. I would like to thank you for your generous financial support towards my educational pursuits. I am currently in the sophomore year of my business administration degree with a minor in human resources. Upon graduating from Algoma University, I plan to pursue a career in the legal field. The financial assistance you provided will be of great help to me in paying my educational expenses. Having been born and raised here in Sault Ste. Marie, the opportunity to pursue post-secondary education in my hometown has been surreal. So again, I would like to thank you for your generosity and your contribution to post-secondary studies here at Algoma University. Ani bojo, maskovni kwe indigenous pas bauting adunjaba ho nishoni kwe adal namash no dem. My spirit name is Red Sunset Woman. My name is Tara Burrell. I'm a recent graduate of the Bachelor of Social Work program, and I'd like to thank the Aboriginal People's Council for the amazing opportunity that I'm going to put forward towards Wilfrid Laurier's master's program. Chimigwitch. Hello, my name is Anton Peter, and I'm currently studying biology here at Algoma University. I'd like to take this opportunity and time to thank all the donors who have acknowledged me and have presented the Black Opportunities Award to me. To me, this award means a lot to me because it shows that the donors and other people here at Algoma University acknowledge the Black community and the Caribbean community here. With this award, it'll help me a lot financially because it relieves financial pressure and can help me focus on just my academics and pursue any careers I desire in the future. My name is Ari and I'm a student at Algoma University, Brampton campus. And uh, I received an interest scholarship, uh, if I remember, it was a bronze, uh, bronze interest scholarship of $1,500. And uh, yeah, it was really nice and uh, I was really glad, I was really happy when I received the email from Alhoma. And uh, yeah, I'm studying uh, business administration in Brampton campus, accounting specialization. Yeah, so and it's my first year and I'm in my second semester. Thank you very much for the award. I really appreciate it. Greetings, my name is Ms. Khan Premji. I'm a fourth year undergraduate student at Algoma University. My major is finance and economics. This is a short appreciative video for your generosity. Thank you so much. It is an honor to be chosen for the OSST District 35 AUSS Bursary and the International Scholarship Bursary Award. By awarding me the OSS District 35 AUSS Bursary and the International Scholarship Bursary Award, you have lightened my financial burden, allowing me to concentrate more on the important components of my university learning and motivating me to continue to work hard and maintain good academic standing. Additionally, your philanthropy has inspired me to help others, and I hope that one day, like you, I'll be able to help students achieve their goals. I'm currently in my last semester of undergraduate studies. After graduation, I plan to attend law school to pursue a career in financial law. Thanks to you, I'm one step closer to my goal. My name is Elizabeth Niche, and I'm in my fourth and final year of a Bachelor of Arts Honors degree, majoring in Law and Justice and Political Science. With this degree, I hope to continue my education by completing a master's degree in Political Science. The support that you have been able to give Algoma University and its students through your generous donation of various scholarships and bursaries has been able to make a significant impact on each student's lives and educational experience. From personal experience, studying for your degree while also focusing on financial stress can be quite tough, so I thank you for helping to take some of that stress away through your scholarship, allowing me to focus my energy on my education and my schoolwork. My name is Tracy James. I am an international student in my fourth year of the Honors Bachelor of Social Work program at Algoma University. I have been the recipient of the International Student in Course Scholarship and Bursary twice. Hard work and diligence is my mantra. I am very appreciative and thankful to have been awarded for my academic achievements. This was made possible through the donor's kind and generous support your contribution to my education could not have come at a better time. I lost my father on my journey towards academic success. I thought during that period nothing could put a smile on my face. 
It was within that same period I received one of the scholarships. I did not smile then. I was so happy I cried. I was deeply thankful. These scholarships had not only helped me through difficult financial times, but reminded me that all was not lost. When I needed a reminder, you have set in motion a domino effect. As you have touched my life, I will touch many lives. Thank you, Algoma University, and thank you, donors. Ani, greetings and congratulations from the Alumni and Advancement Team. It's an honor to address everyone today and to recognize the students who are being awarded for their hard work and dedication to academic excellence. These past two years have been filled with changes and last minute adjustments. It hasn't been an easy academic road to navigate. I am inspired to see how you have successfully adapted in this new environment, and I am proud to honor all of you today. Investing in students and supporting their success is important to Algoma University, and the road to success is never easy. Each of you is the future. We are eager to see what you will accomplish in your future endeavors. Whether you are a first year or continuing student, I encourage you to stay connected, to share your stories and achievements, and to those who are graduating this year, welcome to the Algoma University alumni family.